spotlighting students and educators, sharing success stories, showcasing excellence. School Focus. According to recent studies, for the first time in history, children born today have a life expectancy that is less than their parents. This is due in part to a lack of physical activity and bad nutrition. Sport and Health Clubs is on a mission to battle this statistic. Mitchell Batkin learned the value of staying fit and healthy while he was in high school. Now as the Senior Vice President for Sport and Health Clubs, he is sharing his knowledge with today's youth. We want so much to improve the lives of everyone in our communities, adults and kids, and we know that if you learn a little bit more about nutrition and a little bit more about exercise and you combine those two, it's such a great way to try to improve your health for the long term. Sport and Health Clubs pride themselves on being family friendly. They have three locations in Prince William County, but have now taken their services into the school division. Students at Woodbridge Middle School are staying healthy and fit thanks to a partnership with Prince William Sport and Health. Reaching the school's fitness goals has been made easier thanks to a generous donation of over $20,000 worth of gym equipment and supplies. When Sport and Health Clubs are renovated, their old equipment can either be returned to their manufacturers for credit towards the purchase of new equipment, or the old equipment can be donated, such as the case with the equipment at Woodbridge Middle School. PE teacher Collins Wetzel initiated the partnership and oversaw the renovating of the school's auxiliary gym into a fitness center. If the school were to outfit this gym with brand new equipment, the cost would be at least $100,000. Mr. Batkin and several Sport and Health employees joined students during a ribbon cutting ceremony at the new fitness center. After the ribbon was cut, students demonstrated the skills they have already learned. Sport and Health clubs also brought along a fitness instructor who led the students in a kickboxing lesson. I've had so many kids that they might not like me. They'll come in and say, hey, can, can we go do that exercise again? Or, can, can we do the thing on the bouncy ball again today, or, or can we do the step aerobics? And I'm just like, well, yeah, you can. Go do it. It doesn't matter what class it is, you go and do that, because I know they enjoy it. You know, they're interested in that, and any kid that can get interested in something like that, that's what my job is. My job is to get them active and get them moving, and that's exactly what we're doing. Use of the fitness center by PE classes will be on a rotating schedule. Students will be using the gym at least two days a week for 25 minutes. During this time, they will do circuit training meaning they will try to get through each station and try to do as many sets and repetitions as they can. Sixth grader Chelsea Halloman likes to work out on the treadmill. She shares her thoughts on the new fitness center. I think that's really cool because kids could work out and it's really fun to work out sometimes. Jonathan Osu, a seventh grader, likes bench pressing and working out on the treadmill. He appreciates the donation made by Sport and Health Clubs. I feel very fortunate that we get to have all this stuff. 7th grader Kevin Alvaringa admits he has never used most of the equipment before it came to the new fitness center. I like to do the sit and roll. I like it because we can pace yourself. Mr. Wetzel is planning to create a workout sheet for students to use. On the sheet, students will keep track of what exercise they did, how many repetitions, and how much weight they used. This will help students to track their fitness progress. Woodbridge Middle School is also planning to get the community into shape by hosting family fitness nights. The partnership between Woodbridge Middle and Sport and Health Clubs will continue with visits from trainers and more equipment donations. This is Sam Altman for School Focus, PWCS TV. You can do that. With the band playing, the cheerleaders cheering, and the color guard in action, it looked like a pep rally in Woodbridge High School's gym. But these students were not getting ready for a big game. Instead, the school's entire student body, nearly 2,500 in all, gathered in the gym to honor one of their teachers. Many special guests joined in the celebration, including Superintendent Dr. Stephen Waltz, Deputy Superintendent Ray Darlington, members of the superintendent's executive staff, school board members Betty Covington from the Coles District, and Julie Lucas from the Neapsco District. Also on hand from the Virginia Department of Education were Patricia Wright, Superintendent of Public Instruction, Patty Pitts, Assistant Superintendent of the Division of Teacher Education and Licensure, Dr. Joanne Carver, Director of the Office of Teacher Education, and Charles Pyle, Director of the Office of Communications. 
Mike Milken, the co-founder of the Milken Family Foundation, was also in attendance. Mr. Milken and his brother Lowell Milken founded the Milken Family Foundation in 1982. Each year, the foundation recognizes 50 to 150 teachers for their dedication to the field of education. As a society, we're quick to recognize success in so many other areas. We give Heisman trophies for the best football player in college. We give Nobel Prizes for scientists. We give Oscars and MTV awards. But isn't it odd that we give so few awards for the people that educate every single profession? We thought that was wrong, and that is why when we formed the Milken Family Foundation, my brother Lowell and I created for educators the Milken Family Educator Award. Since 1987, approximately 2,400 teachers have been honored nationwide. In 2001, Cynthia Baird, a math teacher at Burnsville District High School, became the first Prince William County Public School teacher to receive the award. Overall, in the, in the classroom, I don't know that it's changed me terribly. I think it's kept me in the classroom. Uh, there have been points where I, I'm like, oh, do I want to keep doing this? And then I, I convince myself that I do. This is really what I want to do, and I enjoy being in the classroom. Alex Carter was honored in 2003 while he was a social studies teacher at Hilton High School. In 2007, Amy McAleer, a math teacher at Battlefield High School, also received the award. The great thing about this type of award is the teacher doesn't uh, apply uh, doesn't have any uh, application to complete. Colleagues recommend the teacher and they go through an intensive screening process through a state committee. Teachers and principals who are honored with this award do not even know that they are being considered. Instead, it's ceremonies like this one at Woodbridge High School where they are awarded with $25,000 and given the opportunity to join a group of elite educators. This is so cool. <laughs> Three of Virginia's Milk and Award winners are graduates from Woodbridge High School. And now with Sharon Javorn receiving the honor, Woodbridge High School has a Milk and Award winning teacher. Having so much success centered around one school is historical for the Milk and Family Foundation's Educator Award. Ms. Javorn grew up in Prince William County, graduating from Brentsville District High School. She then earned her bachelor's degree in mathematics from James Madison University, followed by her master's degree from George Mason University. For the past 20 years, she has taught algebra at Woodbridge High School. Ms. Javorn has been credited with leading at risk students to successful high school careers. The students are wonderful. We have a diverse population here, which enriches me and my teaching practice. My colleagues are absolutely awesome and support me. We have such a, a great family here at Woodbridge High School and the administration is, is fabulous. They've empowered me to think outside the box and to really just expand myself as a teacher. When the purpose of the special assembly was revealed, Mr. Vaughn admits that she started going through a list of her colleagues, wondering who would receive the award. I think I need to say on behalf of Woodbridge High School and on behalf of Prince William County, I'll accept this award, but it isn't all about me because I couldn't be me without the people around me. The $25,000 award can be spent in any way the winner chooses. Ms. Dravorn plans to spend some of the money to enhance learning in her classroom. This is Melissa Payne reporting for School Focus, PWCS-TV.